Jacksonville, Florida. I'm in the building. Where the soul food restaurants at? Where the soul food restaurants at? And team, so I gave it to Oakland. I gave Dallas to Oakland because Dallas kept playing around. I need a restaurant. I'm not going to the Potter's house. T.D. Jake's got enough problems right now. T.D. Jake's got enough problems right now. T.D. Jake's got enough problems right now. I'm not going to the Potter's house. I need some shrimp and grits. Jacksonville. Marry me, Dr. Umar. Is that a, is that a pina colada African queen or is that a bunny? Is that a pina colada African queen or was that a bunny? Or was that a snow bunny? Help me out, sister. You might have been a pina colada African queen. No disrespect to the pina colada African queens. I love all of you. I just got to make sure that wasn't a snow bunny because they've been coming. They've been trying to infiltrate the lives lately. Black queens forever. Snow bunnies never. Black queens forever. Snow bunnies never. Howard University. I don't know what's going on with your campus. Howard University students. Where are my Howard University students who pulled up on Dr. Umar the other day? Where are my Howard University students who pulled up on Dr. Umar the other day at Sankofa Bookstore? You're going to have to... Y'all going to have to storm your uh, vice president for student affairs office and find out why they're not letting y'all bring me to Howard. I don't know what's going on with Howard University. I don't know what's going on with Howard. You Get Greg Carr. Tell Professor Greg Carr, Dr. Greg Carr, African-American studies chair. Tell Dr. Greg Carr, Dr. Umar said, get him a lecture hall for Black History Month and he's bringing the fire. Go get Dr. Greg Carr and say why Dr. Umar ain't been on this campus yet. That's right. Go get the elder. Much respect to Dr. Greg Carr. Tell Dr. Greg Carr, get me a lecture hall and I'll take care of the rest. Howard University deserves the Dr. Umar E. Day in Black History Month. Howard University deserves that. You know what? I need to do a DC HBCU tour. I need to do a DMV. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to hit up Maryland Eastern Shore. I'm going to hit up Delaware State. I'm going to hit up Coppin, Morgan, Bowie, and Howard. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We're going to do a six-campus DMV HBCU tour this month. Let's make it pop. Let's make it pop. University of Maryland Eastern Shore stormed the president's office. Delaware State Storm the president's office. Coppin State, storm the president's office. Bowie State, storm the president's office. Howard University, storm the president's office and say, we need Dr. Umar on campus this month. Stop the bourgeoisie. Stop the black bourgeoisie from hating on King Kong consciousness. Stop the HBCU bourgeoisie. Morehouse pushed through. Shaw University pushed through. Fam, you pushed through. Let's push through, brothers and sisters. University of D.C. Xavier University, where's the invite at? Where's my invite to Grambling University? I ain't been to Grambling State. What's the, I've been to Southern. Where the Grambling State invite at? South Carolina State, when y'all bringing me back. Bowie State, when y'all bringing me back. Morgan State, when y'all bringing me back. Cheney State, when y'all bringing me back. Lincoln State, when y'all bringing me back. Did I speak at Hampton before? Norfolk State, when y'all bringing me back. I spoke at North Carolina a and I ain't been to Central State yet. Central State, we could do Central State. And what's the school right across the street from Central State? There's an HBCU right across the street from Central State. We're going to do them together. We're going to do them together. My PWIs, I'm here for you. My black students at the PWIs, I'm here for you. Storm the president's office and say we want King Kong. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Johnson C. Smith, I've spoke there before. Johnson C. Smith, I've spoke there before. I haven't spoken. Wait, Virginia State. I had an invitation to Virginia State. And I think the Rainbow Gang. This was like 10 years ago. I had an invitation to Virginia State and I think the Rainbow Gang. 
Texas Southern, where the invite, I spoke at the University of Iowa, or was it Iowa State? I spoke at the, uni I spoke at the University of Minnesota Mankato campus. I spoke at Ferris State University in uh, Ferris State in Michigan. I never spoke at Florida State. Florida State, with it. I spoke at Fisk. I spoke at Fisk. University of Toledo, where the invite, where the invite at? I spoke at Iowa or Iowa State. Jacksonville, Florida, where the soul food restaurants? Texas Southern, where the invite at? 215-989-9858. I need to eat right now. Bethune Cookman, I had an invite to Bethune Cookman. Let me tell y'all what happened with Bethune Cookman. My Daytona Beach Africans, I better see y'all in Jacksonville tonight. My Daytona Beach, Florida Africans, I better see you in Jack. Let me tell you what happened with Bethune Cookman. This was about six years ago. Donald Trump was president. Donald Trump was president. Bethune Cookman invited me to campus. And one of the administrators said I was too controversial. Bethune Cookman College. Listen, I'm telling y'all. Six years ago, Donald Trump was president. I got invited to Bethune Cookman and one of the administrators said I was too controversial and they didn't let me come, but they brought Betsy DeVos, Donald Trump's racist secretary of education. They brought her to Bethune Cookman instead of the Prince of Pan-Africanism. Did y'all hear what I just said? Bethune Cookman, Bethune Cookman College, you owe your students reparations in the form of a Dr. Umar visit. How dare you cancel my lecture and bring a white racist Republican Secretary of Education, Betsy DeVos, in place of the Prince of Pan-Africanism. Bethune Cookman, you owe reparations. Bethune Cookman, you owe reparations. You owe your students a Dr. Umar visit. How dare you? How dare you not let me come to campus and bring Betsy DeVos on your campus? That's that is ridiculous. They brought a Republican secretary of education for Donald Trump in place of the prince. Bethune Cookman, pull up tonight. I want to see my Bethune Cookman students tonight. University of Florida students, come to Jacksonville. I want to meet my University of Florida students tonight. I want to meet my University of Florida, my African students at the University of Florida. Come on up tonight. I want to see all my HB, all my PWI HBCUs, all my HBCUs PWIs. Two one five nine eight nine nine eight five eight. If you need to flyer, two one five nine eight nine nine eight five eight. If you need to flyer, two one five nine eight nine nine eight five eight. If you need to flyer, two one five nine eight nine nine. I want to say one thing that I'm gonna hop off the live. I need to say one thing that I'm gonna hop off the live. Nigeria, I need to invite y'all. Keep pump faking. Nigeria, I need to invite. Y'all keep pump faking. My Tampa Africans, I'm ready for a return to Tampa. Tampa was off the hook when I came to Tampa, Florida. Tallahassee going to be at the off the hook too because I'm hanging out all week in Tallahassee. I hope y'all got some soul food joints lined up for me in Tallahassee. My fam, you students, I hope y'all ready for the prince because I'm bringing the ancestors. Florida A&M University, I hope y'all ready for the prince because I'm bringing the ancestors. You said you can't hear nothing. Somebody invited me to their house for breakfast in Jacksonville. That's an FBI setup. 
One of the queens invited me, my dear sister, you might be an honest sister who just want to cook an honest meal for the leader of the black struggle in this day and time. But I cannot come to your home because that might be a Me Too setup. That might be an FBI, CIA, Homeland Security operation. I cannot come to your house. I do a drive by for the shrimp and grits. I could do a drive by for the shrimp and grits. Make a couple salmon patties with that sister. Some 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 uh some fresh squeezed orange juice. I can't come to the house though. Uh uh. Uh uh. Next thing you know, you didn't grab my shango stick and I'm turned out like Jonathan Majors running down the street with a robe on. Uh uh. Can't do that, sister. Next thing you know, you didn't grab my shango stick and I got to run down the street like Jonathan Majors and now I'm locked up because you got a cut on your pinky and a cut behind your ear. No can do, Big Papa. No can do, Big Papa. No can do, Big Papa. No, I can't do that, sister. Next thing you know, you didn't grab my shango stick and I'm running down the street with a robe on like Jonathan Majors and you talking about you got a cut on your pinky and a cut behind your ear. Oh, no. You can't get the prints like that. Oh, no. It's consciousness over the cookies. It's politics over the punani. It's revolution over the romance. It's institutions before intimacy. It's business before the bedroom. Oh, yes. No can do. She gonna have me running down the street in Jacksonville. I don't know nothing about no damn Jacksonville. Running down the street with shrimp and grits with the police chasing. Two one five nine eight nine nine eight five eight two one five nine eight nine nine eight five. No, I'm not going. I'm not going to respond to a uh, swollen Martin. I'm not going to respond to swollen Martin. He's just looking for views and clicks. That's all. Let swollen Martin continue to be the Democratic Party plantation slave that he is. Nobody's dealing with swollen Martin. I didn't say rolling. I said swollen. S W O double L E N. Swollen Martin. Nah, leave that Democratic Party plantation slave where he at. Swollen Martin will be a character in the upcoming Prince of Pan-Africanism comics. Swollen Martin will be one of my nemesis in the Prince of Pan-Africanism comic book. Hashtag Swollen Martin versus the Prince. Who else do y'all want to see as a character? Who else needs to become a character a nemesis in the Prince of Pan-Africanism comic book. Who else do y'all want me to turn into a comic book character and be a nemesis? We got Swollen Martin. Who else y'all want? Barack Obama. <laughs> y'all want Barack Obama to be a nemesis? That might be cute. That might, you know, I didn't think of Barack Obama could be the leader of the boot. We want to call him. I got to come up with a name for Barack. We might just call him Insane Obama. Insane Obama. He going to be the leader of the black bourgeoisie trying to take me down. Kundis. We going to have Swollen Martin and, 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 and Kundis Swollens. Not Candace Owens, Kundis Swollens. We're going to have a bunch of characters. Y'all want Cat Williams to do a guest appearance in the Prince of Pan-Africanism comic book? Vlad TV? Put Vlad in there? We're going to call him Mad Vlad. Mad Vlad, Swollen Martin, Kundis Swollens, Insane Obama, Bootlicking Barack, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas is going to make a special appearance. Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas is going to make. Now, nah, Nick Cannon is my brother. We working on that. Me and Nick Cannon, you know, we y'all going to see the interview with me and Nick Cannon. It was a real good interview. The Nick Cannon interview was a very good interview. I'm waiting for him to drop that. Shout out to Nick Cannon. That was a really good interview we did. Two and a half hours of power. Nick Cannon and King Kong. Two and a half hours of power. Nick Cannon and King Kong.
Me and Cat Williams could do that comedy and conscious talk. For my Philadelphia Africans, Friday, March 1st is the comedy and consciousness concert. Make sure y'all pull up. Philadelphia Africans, the comedy show in Philadelphia. I'm hosting it. I'm not providing comedy. I'm providing the consciousness. The comics will provide the comedy. My Philadelphia Africans, hometown city, Philadelphia. Make sure y'all come out to the comedy and consciousness concert on Friday, March the 1st. Make sure y'all come. Now, don't call no children on mutts. I got to block you, brother. We don't call children mutts. No, sir. We're not doing that. Nick Cannon's children are African children. You're not going to call no child no mutt, my brother. Come on now. My whole life, my whole purpose in life is to save black children. We're not calling nobody no mutts. He just need a testosterone tablet. We got to baptize him in a testosterone swimming pool. All these beta males. You part of the Zest Fest? Goodbye. Tim Scott then lost his damn mind. He proposed to a snow bunny talking about when a man finds a good wife, he finds a good thing. That Negro then lost himself. Tim Scott. Tim Scott should be a character in a comic book. Tim Scott should be a character. You said Joe Button won't put up part two of the interview? Joe Button won't put up part two of the interview. I'm not sure. ATL HBCU tour. I got an invite from Spellman a couple years ago, but they didn't follow through. I thought I was going to come speak to the ladies of Spellman. Where are my beautiful little sisters at Spellman University? Where does ladies of Spellman at? Where the ladies of Spellman College at? I was supposed to come to Spellman a couple years ago. I don't know what happened. Maybe I could come to Spellman after Morehouse. Where are my Spellman queens at? Where the lovely ladies of Spellman College? Where the lovely ladies of Spellman? Y'all need to get me to Spellman. Right after I'm done with Morehouse. I need to get me to Spelman. Wait, wait, what's the black college that they just restarted? Morris Brown? Morris Brown? Y'all need to get me to Morris Brown. What's your take on Puerto Ricans and Dominicans not wanting to be African? That's their choice. Being African is a privilege. I'm not begging nobody. Being African is a privilege. I'm not begging nobody. You got Puerto Ricans who don't want to be African and you got Puerto Ricans who love being African. You got Dominicans who don't want to be African. You got Dominicans who love being African. You got Cubans who don't want to be African. You got Cubans who love being African. So you got American Africans who love being African. You got American Africans who say they're not African. They American. So, hey, it all depends, brother. You got to sort out the coons. You got to sort out the coons from the conscious folks. Here's what I want to say, though. Some people have been complaining that their prayers have not been getting answered. Some people have been complaining that their prayers have not been getting answered. Some people have been complaining that their prayers have not been getting answered. Africans. Neanderthals, please exit the live. I'm about to have a private black family conversation. All Neanderthals, all hybrid humans, please exit the live at this time. If you are a human hybrid, please exit the live. Brown people, yellow people, red people, white people, please exit the live. I'm talking to the original man and woman of Africa right now. No disrespect to the other human families, the hybrids, but I'm talking to the original man and woman right now. I'm talking to the original man and woman right now. There's Africans who are complaining that their prayers are not getting answered. I want to give you three reasons why your prayers are not getting answered. Are you ready for the three reasons, my brothers and sisters? 
215-989-9858 if you need to flyer, if you need to schedule podcast interview, lecture appearance, podcast interview, lecture appearance, consultation, life coaching, 215-989-9858, 215-989. The reason your prayers have not been getting answered, African people, three reasons in no particular order. Three reasons in no particular order why African people's prayers don't be getting answered. Number one, many of us have been indoctrinated since childhood with a white image of supreme consciousness. If your third eye can only see a white image of supreme consciousness, I want you to understand, overstate and understand me. This is Prophet Ifatunde. If your third eye can only generate a white image of the almighty, if your third eye can only generate a white image of God, if your third eye can only generate a white image of the supreme consciousness, supreme consciousness cannot respond to you because you are invoking a demon. You are invoking a demon. You are, I'm going to say it again, imagination matters in spirituality. Imagination matters in spirituality. Imagine if your third eye is generating a white image, a Caucasian image of the almighty, the Almighty cannot respond because the Almighty is not a Caucasian. You are invoking a devil. And because you are invoking a demon, and since the Almighty can never be in the same space with negativity, the Almighty cannot respond because you're not praying to the Almighty. You are praying to your oppressor. That's a big reason why your prayers do not get answered. You do not have a black image of the almighty. Many of you do not have a black image of the almighty. You have a Caucasian image of the almighty. You have a Caucasian image of the almighty. That's a reason why your prayers are not getting answered. You have to meditate on a black image of supreme consciousness. I don't care if you personify the universe itself as God because the universe is black. But you better have a black image of the almighty because melanin can only be activated. Your melanin can only be activated spiritually with a black image. You can't activate black melanin with white Christ. You can't activate black melanin with white Christ. You can't activate 